Hey everyone, I wanted to go ahead and do a quick review of my Android hubs on my Samsung Epic 4G. Uh, just the 4G, not the touch. And as you can see, here is my home screen uh, with minimalistic text, uh, running bar right here. It says CPU widget, a battery widget, and this is photo organizer. I actually put a photo organizer widget, a 4x1 on the screen. I aligned it to the right and made the background transparent. And this is actually every application that is on my device. Um, and over here we have a little application that will light up my LED on the back in case I lose something in the dark or, you know, in a dark room. I can go ahead and press that button and start the LED on the back to shine, illuminate the room. Uh, up here we have beautiful witches and I'm sure everyone has seen beautiful witches before. That's the clock right up there. Now if I press the home key right here, it'll actually take me to my dollar. So I can go ahead and call my family and friends. To the right of that I have my media hub um, with my... And I can actually fast forward, um, go to the previous song, um, make it go ahead and mix up the mix and repeat a song. And if I go into the application, I can actually go to this like 3D interface right here. Um, so that's that. And if I actually press the media, it will take me to my Google Music that's on the device. So that's that screen. And this is my social hub. Now I haven't really found a widget really that I like. I haven't found anything that can give me the colors and transparencies that I want. So if anyone has a suggestion that will work, leave it down in the comment section. I will really, really go ahead and appreciate that. And if I press on the social here, it'll take me to, of course, my Facebook uh, application. To the left of my home screen is my game hub, and this is Folder Organizer again with just the YouTube widget. And if I press the games, it'll take me to on live sign up, sign in actually. So that's that. And finally, to the left is my office with my calendar here, of course, Folder Organizer. And if I press office, it'll take me to. Kingsoft Office, which is actually a Microsoft Office compatible application that you can find on the market, um, is actually quite good. If you go ahead and press here, these are all the different options that you'll have to get something from your cloud storage. Right now, I believe it only has box.net on it, but I'm sure it'll go ahead if it doesn't already have documents to go. Um, and if we went ahead and started a new document, you see we can go ahead and create a blank Word document, memo, and a spreadsheet. You can't do a presentation, but I'm sure a presentation will be pretty hard to do on a small device like this. So we'll go to a new Word document and we'll type in some text here. And let's say we wanted to format this text. We can go ahead and undo what we did. We can redo it. Um, we can search if this was a well populated document. We can search for that same text string and if they can find it in that document anywhere it will go ahead and tell us where it is. We can go ahead and make this into a heading one or two, three, a title, subtitle, emphasis, intense emphasis. As you can see it's quite a few things you can go ahead and change it to. We'll keep it at normal because we can also go ahead and just increase the font or decrease the font as we like. We can also bold, Oop. italics, we can underline it and it'll go ahead and give us several choices. We'll use that a little squiggly. We can change the text color and if you don't like these text colors here we can go to more and you can go through the rainbow wheel, pick the color that you like and select it. We can also highlight it and we can align it to the left, to the center, to the right, or we can completely justify it here. We can also work with indention and spacing. 
So this application can do so much more than what I'm showing you right here. I wanted to keep this video short, but absolutely go ahead and check this out in Android Market. It is called Kingsoft Office, and the kicker of this application is that it's absolutely free. You do not have to pay a cent, a dime, a dollar for it. So I would highly suggest it. Kingsoft Office, that's my quick review of that application. And that is pretty much it with my Android hubs. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, go ahead and put them down in the comment section. And as always, I will get back to you as soon as I can. And until next time, take care.